What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. So this book was recommended to me by a friend at work and I honestly had no idea what this book was about. I had seen the cover floating around. It was like the Goodreads Choice winner for 2018. It looked really cool so I was like yeah sure I'll read it. I didn't even read the back of the book. She just like read this book. It's really cool. So I went into this book completely blind and I was absolutely blown away. This book was amazing. It is probably one of the best books that I've read all year and it immediately went on to my favorites list and it also went on to my must reads list. So I'm already telling you I 100% recommend this book. You have to read it. You need to experience this book. This book is rooted so deeply in African mythology. We are following a girl named Zaylee. She is what is known as a magi but this in this world magic has all but been eradicated. We don't know what happened to it. It just disappeared and we have all of these magi who have now become second-class citizens. They're called maggots by everybody else. So when a scroll is unearthed that has the power to bring magic back, suddenly Zaylee, her brother Zane, the princess, and the prince are now all just thrust into this magical adventure trying to bring magic back to the world. And this journey was absolutely beautiful. It was so stunning. The world building was amazing. And I really loved the characters. Everybody felt like a fully fleshed out three-dimensional character and we had so many amazing arcs here and the enemies to lovers romance was just absolutely out of this world but it goes so much deeper than that this author is really exploring that class divide here that prejudice between the regular people who have not been touched by the gods and the diviners the magi why were they chosen over me we fear their power all of this kind of stuff and what happens when you are so deeply rooted in that prejudice but then you find that you were one of those as well. What's going to happen to you? What's going to happen to you when your father, who is like mass murdering all of these people, finds out about that? It was so beautiful and so unbelievably well done. And like I said, I just really cannot recommend this book enough. It is a very long audiobook, but honestly, I just couldn't stop listening to it. And the narrator does such a beautiful job. Like all of the African chants in this book, she sings them and she does them so beautifully. So if you can listen to this book, I really do recommend trying that out even if you're not really into audiobooks like that was just a really nice added layer of experience going into it and I am just overall so unbelievably excited to get to the next book like the next book is coming out in December I will probably just go ahead and buy it instead of waiting for it to come at my library because I just I want to know what happens next the way that this book ended I was in absolute tears and it was just so unbelievably amazing so obviously this book is getting an A plus for me if you haven't read it yet please do yourself a favor, go read this book. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.